the coins. We are going to do 100,000 coins in Get a Players. And I'm going to show you quickly what we do. All we're going to do is go ahead and get Get a Players for 100K. Once I'm done with that, I'll come back and I'll show you what we're going to do with those cards. We finished it now, so we are onward to open them up. I'm not going to show you everything. I'm just going to kind of, all I'm doing is kind of showing you what I'm doing. Showing you what I'm doing. Dismiss all here because that was going to take forever for that. But you can see I have 69 packs. We have eight core rookies and we have 61, 66 to 69. All we're going to do is go ahead and open those and then we're going to put them into sets. But I will come back as soon as I'm done opening them. All right, I'm working on the next set. I have already opened up all of my high silvers. Now I'm going to put those high silvers into low golds and then open up all those. I'm sorry I forgot to show you all that, but I did get some I did get some uh uh power-ups. As you can see right here, we got Jimmy Ward, we got 3 Kyle Van Noys, we got a, a Tremaine Emmons. I'm not sure if any of these are worth anything. But, you know, that's not my concern right now. My concern right now is to keep going and get this done with. And, yeah, so we will be back as soon as we are done with all these. And I'm going to open them up. And then we're going to put them in the next set. The core rookie 70 through 77. Uh, let's go through that really fast here because that's a little bit separate from what we were just doing. But we're going to go to sets. And what you're only going to do is you're only going to put your rookie cards in this stuff. It, this is really important because these high rookies go for a lot. But you're going to put the low silvers into high silvers, and then you're going to change those and put those high silvers into golds. And then you're going to open the pack. Now, you can do this set. Personally, I'm not ever going to, but you can if you really want to. I personally don't think it's worth it. Some people out there are going to say you can do it. I can tell you right now, I think when this card first came out, you know, a couple hours ago, you could buy all these cards and sell him for more. And it would have been a good coin making method. Right now, I don't know. I haven't honestly looked at it. But, you know, you do what you got to do. Um, all I know is I, what I do works. And so first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up these core rookies really fast here. We are hoping for a 75, 76, 77. First one, 73. Not good. Not good. But hopefully we'll get a better one now. And we get a 72. Again, not good. I think they go for like 4,000, 4,500, maybe 5K. Um, so we're going to get a little bit back, but we've spent 100K on these Get a Golds. And we just got four cards Zach Wilson, 75. So that's probably okay. And so we probably got about 20K back right about there, maybe 16K, something like that. But we've already got one fifth of our coin back. Now we're going to go ahead and open these. And then we're going to come back and show you which set to put these in. All right, we are on to the next part. Now, at that point, if you really want to, you can sell all your cards. You can sell your logos. You can do whatever you want. But for me, I like to risk it for the biscuit. We are going to put our cards in this. We're going to put our logos into this set. And we are going to try to pull a big power-up. That's ultimately our goal. We want a big power-up. Some of these 77s, some of these 79s go for a lot right now. So you definitely, in my opinion, still want to go through this. But you know what? We don't know the results. We're going to see the results as soon as we're done here. And when we're done, I'll go ahead and show you what we got. And hopefully we pulled something good. All right, we are finished with that. Now we're going to open up all of our 75 through 79. We're going to show you what we get. Hopefully we get something good. Clearly that's probably not good, but we're going to go ahead and check the prices a little bit right afterwards and kind of give you an idea if we made coin or lost coin. There, Jalen Smith, I think that's a good card, 79 overall. Uh, what we're really looking right here is we're looking for power-ups. Obviously these gold cards are just kind of a kicker. Sometimes you'll get some really good ones. Sometimes you're not going to get very good ones, but we're looking for that big hit. We just need one, one big hit. And that could be, I mean, that could be Jalen Waddle or something like that. I mean, that's 16, 17K. And I know we spent 100K, but I'm fairly confident that we're going to get all of our coin back. But you just never know, right? We had 30 of these packs. That Santos card right there. I would say at the very least, honestly, I would say at the very least we'll make 50 to 100K. 
Uh, but we'll see. And it's kind of a tedious process. It took me a little bit of time. It took me about an hour, hour and 10, hour and 20 to finish a full 100K of doing everything, right? Doing everything. But it's very safe. It's the by far the safest method, if you ask me, with the potential to be huge. To be huge. Uh, but most of the time, you're going to get about an average of 50 to 75K, I would say, profit most of the time. But you have a, a potential of, I mean, hitting 100, 150 to 200K profit uh, out of doing this. So there's Tyler Bass. If you guys played last year, well, then you know what I'm talking about. The good 93 Tyler Bass from, what is it? I don't know. Christmas promo at some point. I don't know. I don't know how many times we pulled that dude. I know we sniped him a ton looking for training. I do remember that. Uh, but here we go. I don't know how many packs we have left. Let's go ahead and take a peek and see how many we've got. It's very disappointing so far that I have not gotten any any power-ups. But you know what? You can only can't win them all, I guess. Uh, there's Clyde Edwards Halar. Uh, I would assume that he's not very worth a whole lot. But you never know. You never know. Like I said, we spend 100k. We'll go. We're gonna go and check out the profit here in just a little bit. I'm gonna have to put up all these cards. You again, the auction house sort of sucks. 20 is the max you can do. Uh, that's disappointing. But you know what? We we've been dealing with this for years. Uh, you would think that they would be able to put more up, but you can't. So we're gonna stay with the 20, I guess. And uh, yeah, come on. I hopefully. I mean, let's get something here. Let's get a nice power-up. Let's finish it up on a power-up note. But, I mean, I'd like to see a Tyreek Hill. It's really kind of what I'm hoping for. Um, but we did pull two Derwin James, 270 overall Derwin James. Are they going to be worth much? I have no idea. Not a clue. But we're going to check. We are definitely going to check here in a little bit. So, still nothing. We still have not got one power-up. There we go. We got one power up, and it is Christian McCaffrey. Okay. That might be all right. He's one of the very few receiving backs in the game. We will definitely be looking here in a second. Um, hopefully, we can pull another one. Um, you know, I'm really, like, these. some of these power-ups I think will be worth something. Uh, but who knows, right? You just never really know until you, you add up the numbers. So one thing I like about the Geta players is the potential is really, really good. You could go crazy with the profit but then for the most part i mean for your time i mean 50k an hour profit i don't know is that good to you i don't know you know you gotta you gotta kind of make it uh however you think but there is other coin making methods out there and i'll tell you what we are going to make a video tomorrow uh right away in the morning but let's go ahead and take a peek and see what uh what kind of profit we got okay now we're into our inventory here let's take a peek here now we're gonna we're gonna it's hard because we gotta sell all these cards out at we gotta sell all these cards right and so you see some of them going for 5k some of them for 6k some of them are gonna be way more than that we gotta do we gotta break it all down but to make it easy because I like to make things easier we are going to well I, we don't know yet I gotta check a 75 and make sure first um, but I'm thinking about valuing everything at about 4k and clearly. We are struggling to find 75s that are on the auction house. There we go. So about 4K, right? You can saw two of them for 39. Um, and you guys can all agree that this guy right here is 45. So if we value them all at 4K, we should be taking the safe route, right? And so let's check, take a look at Christian McCaffrey. 20,000 coins for Christian McCaffrey. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But let's say we got 4K. So that's 4K. You got 20 or 5K or five cards right there. That's 20,000 coins. That's another 20,000, so that's 30,000. Uh, let's check and see what he's worth right here. Look at that, 5,000. So he's worth more than 4,000. But we're going to value him at 4,000, like I said. Uh, we're going to keep going down there. Tyler Bass is 7,000, but again, we're going to value him at 4,000. You guys get where I'm going with this. Like, this is going to be money. Like, I've made coin. I can guarantee you I've made coin already on this run. Uh, but that's and that's good. So here's some of the other power-ups I got you saw all the rookie cards that we got out of the Let's take a look at Zach Wilson. Well 4k. Okay 
So clearly they're going down just a little bit. Um, and that's okay. You can see all the power-ups I got, guys. I got tons of power-ups going on here. I got tons and tons of power-ups. Let's take a look at some of the prices. Let's look at Derwin James here. Uh, 5K for Derwin James. All right, so let's just take a, a ballpark figure of what we see. So we got Chase Claypool. Clearly we're not selling him, but let's say we're not going to count many of these power-ups. We're going to count Derwin James. Okay, so that right there is 5K. We're not even going to count these these guys right here. Let's check Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson's 4K, so we'll count him. And so we got right here. Let's take a peek here. All right, so that's another 5K for another Derwin James. We're 10K now. Ryan Tannehill, none of these other guys are probably going to be worth a whole lot until they get new cards. Let's check Fletcher, Fletcher Cox just in case. He's at 5K. All right, so that's 15K. Right there, we're only picking and choosing. I know, I know I'm doing a bad job of probably explaining this, but that's okay. We're at 18K now for for Asante Samuel Jr. Another 4K, so we're at 22K right there. All right, so now we're going to value all these at 5K. We already know that they're more. I think we've established that they are worth more than 4K on average, on average. But I'm just taking a peek here. Let's see right there, that's good. So, all right, so that's 20K. That's 40K, that's 60K, that's um, 80K, that's 100K, that's 120K, plus this, it's 136, plus the 22 or something like that. So that's already 158, or no, 148, plus McCaffrey, it's 168. We've already got 168,000 coins. Uh, and so that's a 68,000 coin profit after tax. You're looking at about 45 to 50,000 profit. But again We valued them at 4k that guy's worth five We value them at 4k and This guy right here. Let's check and see what he's worth. He's worth five. Do you get where I'm going with this? So this method is all is very good It always has been very good at the start of the year It's even better because the golds are going for going for more the only downside of this is I have to sell all these cards. And that will take me a little bit of time. That will definitely take me a little bit of time. But it is definitely worth it because it is a guaranteed method that you will not lose coin on. But guys, uh, you know what? Let's do a summary really fast. Really fast. We gained about 40 to 50, we gained about 50 to 60,000 coins just in that run on everything. Let's go ahead and take a peek. How you start this is very simple. You go to get a players and you buy this. I do 100K at a time. That's what I do is 100K at a time. From there, after you pull all of that stuff, you go to sets. Once you go to sets, you go to exchange, core rookie, change your rookies from low silver to high silver, then high silver to gold. After that, you're done with that one. Then do the player exchange and do the low silvers to high silvers, which is this one. And then do this one after you're done opening all those. Then do this one after you're done opening those. And then sell all your cards. But guys, I hope you understand what I'm saying. The get a player method still is king. Keep doing it. If you're doing it already, I'm sure you're making lots of coins. But I just made fifty to 60,000 coins in about an hour. Hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes, something like that. Is it a high... Uh, is it a method that you can make millions of coins in a day? No. But it is steady, and it will get your coin stack higher. And by getting it higher, it allows you to open up other opportunities for more and better lucrative coin-making methods. And that's all we're trying to do right now. And that's it. That's all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you tomorrow with another coin-making method.